Hey everybody, uh, just doing a little bit of digital drawing today. I know it's kind of a long video, uh, but I just kind of want to show it. There's some important aspects here that uh, took place towards the, uh, well, probably a few, about a minute or two you'll see. That would be drawing the feet. And, uh, I know we all have, well, at least the majority of artists, feet are feet and hands are pretty ridiculous as far as drawing them and you'll see that I struggled with it uh, to get the right look that I was wanting and kind of had to go back and forth so I know this is on digital but uh, kind of take the same concepts if you're going to do traditional uh, what I'm doing right here is going real light first uh, before I start putting down the so this would be with the pencil as far as the programs concerned before I start putting down the ink side. Um, so the top half uh, above, like up to the thigh is still is inked. And all the lower half right now is pencil. Uh, let's see, I lightened it up. And if you were doing this traditional, you would just be using probably like a little kneadable eraser to lighten things up a little bit until you get the lines where you want them. Just adjust back and forth and uh, You'll see uh, there was a lot of trial and error uh, to try and get the look that I was going for. Uh, kind of stalling a little bit there getting to it. But yeah, it's uh, just like everything else, man. You gotta just take your time, go through it. Sometimes it's good to have a light layer first. I, I usually, especially in, when I do traditional, I do a light layer first. Now I see right here, I'm starting on the feet. And I was thinking about having it to where you can see the bottom half, or uh, a little bit of the bottom of the um, toe area. <laughs> and as you're seeing the, uh, that would put the, uh, the, the ball of the foot showing. I'm spending a lot of time trying to get that in place, baby toe, and all the toes in. Uh, but as you will see, I then realized when I kind of backed off, that it did not make sense for a foot to be in that position. Unfortunately, I don't see that for a while, so I'm going to keep going over this, trying desperately to make this view work. As you see, I didn't back off enough there. When I'm doing this, I'm literally seeing what you're seeing. So I backed out right there and I did not look at the whole proportion. I thought, oh, she still should see a little bit. You still would see a little bit of her bottom. So I'm trying to clean it up because I think I know what I'm doing now. And now I'm thinking, okay, maybe I should be doing the front half of the foot showing. So that's the... Um, line you got there it would be the top uh, tops of the toes kind of a side view top I guess you'd say then I was like maybe the toe should be curled none of this was working thankfully because it would not have made sense uh, I mean maybe it could have still somewhat made sense but when I backed out, it looked really weird. Now at this point, I'm probably about 15 minutes into just doing toes, so I went to clean up this knee to kind of get my head off of them toes for a minute. And my head went so far off the toes that I miscounted toes here. Yeah. She's uh, missing a toe. I don't know. I do not know why you're missing a toe, and I'm just gonna keep on. Oh, what? Oh, did, did I realize it? No, I don't think I did. Oh, yep. I'm trying to count. I'm trying to count. Oh no. Still is not the desired look that I wanted. So backed off again, and I finally had the realization. Why don't I just go back to the old school? Put some more. You know pencil kind of lines in there then see here I'm realizing this is where I want them to be 
but I used the pencil lines that I made to see where the toes would be as far as uh, in the ladder of things from, from uh, vertical. Yeah, so now I'm just going to go straight back now that I have approximately an idea how them toes are going to be. Put them all in, and this is going to be the final draft of them toesy woesies. I just want to clean up a little bit of that pencil area so I can see if I like it right there. Now I want the other foot to kind of just toes be peeking out a little bit. So this is um, not going to be completely done. You're going to get like the first phase by the end of this video. This is eventually going to be, if I can maneuver it right, She's going to be underwater, so that's why she's on her toes. She's not standing there like a weirdo, because um, that'd be some strong toenails she's got in there. <laughs> right now, I'm just going to be cleaning up. Cleaning up these lines a little bit, so that I can start um, making sure that everything's closed up, so that I can start plotting in some color without being too uh, destructive with it. and. Cause I'm gonna do feel now. She's gonna get some clothes on, cause you know can't be naked like that. You know, not yet. Put some clothes on, girl. Put that, put it out. You better put on that damn clothes, girl. Why won't you put your top on? What? Oh, thank you. Now put some bottoms on. Girl, if you don't put your clothes on. Now, nah, was that so hard? Thank you. Chase, oh, what that come out? <laughs> Just cleaning up some of the little lines. Oh, no, it's cold. It's cold in that water. Jesus. Tell Bobby not to look. I forgot to warn Bobby. And I'm kind of just doing, if I was doing this uh, traditional, these right here would be more smudge or smear type areas. So I'm doing that with the program. Uh, it's not a hard line there yet, just going to be some smudges. And now I'm cleaning up a couple things here. <clears throat> and like I said, you're going to get close to the finished product here, but not the complete finish. It's what it is right now. Um, eventually I will start uh, putting her underwater. And we'll see where it goes from there. If it could be a nice design to put on our red bubble, I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Putting in a little bit of the muscle structure. Um, again, these are not going to be hard lines um, besides the calf right there. But like by the knees and the thighs, um, I would be doing the same thing if it was traditional, which would be just, you know, light pencil and... Um, a stumpy or something like that to kind of put those uh, shadows in. So right now I'm just putting in some shadows just to kind of get an idea where they're going to be when I start putting the color in and then I'm going to start cleaning up some lines as you see here. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm trying making this a nice little music video but uh, for some reason my editing software is not liking that this is a real long video um, so it's not giving me all of the um, the music all the way through putting in some toenail yeah I'm just cleaning it up a little bit and I'm going to kind of go back and forth like you see right here I'm going back to that skin color to kind of make that black um, outlines not so thick in some areas like they are right now and then I realized this is a it doesn't look this big see when you zoom out so why am I so paranoid about getting those toes so close 
and as far as relative thickness of the lines we're putting in some lips here I mean, if you think about it every piece is kind of hard but hands and feet are just I think it's because we try to put every shape of it in and in honesty you don't see every finger you don't see every toe in every picture in real life so just remember the shapes that you're seeing all right now you see as i put the color in a lot of those um, shadings had gone off that i was putting in earlier but at least it gave me an idea about where they are so that's so why i was able to put the collarbone and the throat shading back in there and I'm kind of doing the same thing here with the ear. We're putting those uh, shadows in with a just a slightly darker tone of the flesh tone that we already have laid down. And all in all, the, up to the point at the end of this video that this is um, that this drawing or painting, whatever you want to call this digital work, um, all in all, where it's at now, when, or at least when you see the end, it took uh, two, three hours of working back and forth with this um, to get us the uh, 18 minutes of video here, <laughs> of time lapsed and everything. And that was including, I had sketched it out first before I even started the video, before I started recording it. Once I saw that I had the uh, lower half of the body left, I was, that's when I decided maybe it'd be a good little video to see if I can even get this looking right. Now, uh, the app I was using, the uh, program was having a little bit of difficulty. So as you see, there's a little bit of discoloration in some of the things once I started laying down different layers. So I had to... Uh, go back and forth and start cleaning those layers up when I found out what layer did what so for some reason uh, putting a darker layer on top made showed some uh, some white lines and stuff so some lighter areas so I have you'll see me go back and forth eventually you'll see that there's going to be a problem over the uh, bikini right here um, because of a big white ring for some reason but I was having problems with the program like I said and I think it's because it was running so long on recording and also trying to get everything I was doing so but no big deal I just have to kind of you get frustrated for a minute but you have to just try to figure it out and it will eventually work out hopefully well in this one it did but you know in your world you just hope for the best <laughs> as I did while I was working on it this is going to be just putting in some shaded shadowed areas or some darker areas of that flesh tone um, I decided I was going to do that and then come back over to highlight what needed to be highlighted instead of trying to be precise with the dark area I'm just going to go over the dark area how I need and go back over and lighten it up where I need highlights at eh, mark it on the boobies gotta fix the boobies girl and before you come at me in the comment section, I know the proportions are off. It's on purpose, all right? Jesus. I like the style. So it's fun to do. And so I did it. Well, I'm still new into digital art, so I just wanted to see. Uh, this was kind of a challenge of myself. I like the, this drawing style, but I didn't know if I could pull off um, the coloring and the painting and the shading and all that. Uh, so that's uh, that was my test. Uh, 
the last one I did in this kind of style as far as the proportions was um, a literal cowgirl. She was literally a cow. <laughs> like, uh, see, okay, here, this is what kind of causes it. See how I'm going through here to fix what I thought was wrong? And there's my white lines that I had to fix. And that is the ring that came from some reason. I have no idea where that ring came from. But the thing with digital is you can just take your time. It's, it's frustrating to take more time to fix these things, but it's, it's doable. And the same thing with traditional for the most part. Um, most of the time you can fix little incidences that happen. It is annoying as hell, and I completely understand. Trust me, I've been there. And there's times where it's like, no, nah, it's not, it's, I don't feel like taking another day to go through this all over again, so just trash the whole project. But um, if you're like me, you, you, it's kind of annoying when people say that, oh, it's so, t such a, you're so talented. I mean, I get what they're trying to say, but you're not born with it. It's a lot of failure that gets you to this point, a lot of trial and error. So practice, practice, practice. And I, I, from doing this, even though it looks decent, I believe at the end, I know it does not look at all like, um, what I could do eventually, the more, the better I get at it. So, um, it's all about learning. Uh, so even if you find that you do something that you really don't like the outcome, try to enjoy the fact that you learned something, hopefully out of it. Uh, and if you didn't, at least you got some practice out of it. At least you were, you know, moving your hands um, you know, drawing or painting and actually doing some kind of practice. Um, sometimes that's all you need, you know? I was trying to decide if I wanted to give her teeth or like if the teeth, not that she would be toothless, but I'm saying you don't always see people's teeth, but I think I decided, I can't remember how the end of this looks, but I think I did decide to go ahead and give her some teethuses. There we go with the highlights. I'm just going through basically and erasing uh, the areas which you cannot do in painting but with digital you can I'm erasing the areas that I want it um, the lighter tone to show through because I have that darker layer on top of the lighter layer as I said earlier so I'm just kind of going through fix that area where that ring happened a little bit better decide to give her a little flesh there instead of it being that weird color <clears throat> sorry all right she's starting to look a little more a little more better is that the, <laughs> starting to look a little better all right let's see what we got here what am I doing I, I can't see where I'm at that's confusing I think I'm cleaning up the legs. Oh, I think I was finished. Was that the end? Well, son of a bitch. That was the end. I well, hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Uh, maybe learn something if you laughed. Or if you just thought she was sexy. I don't know what the hell it is. Have a good time. Have a good night. A uh, good day. Whatever the hell it is. Remember, with art, we all rise together. Peace.